twin sisters buy former plantation to preserve and protect black history. Hmm. Twin black sisters? Yeah, they black. Well, you know, why would a, I, I guess a white person would do yeah. it. But. Preserve history. Well, then, yeah, they would be talked about them. Twin sisters, um, growing up in Louisiana, in um, the bayou of the Mississippi River, identical twins. Um, I can't say they Josanita Banner and Josia Banner always Banner heard twins. stories, the Banner twins, always heard stories from their grandmother, Grace, who would tell them about their enslaved ancestors and their history of fighting back at the very plantation the two women now own. I, I know that she is really proud, the Banner, one of the Banner girls said. She just served as this vessel to connect us to an energy that is informing and providing us the sustenance of what we need now for this fight. The Banner Twins are the founders of the Descendants Project, a nonprofit that fights for historic and cultural pre pre uh, preservation for descendants of slaves. It was through their nonprofit that they bought the Woodland Plantation, the birthplace of the of the 1811 slave revolt. Hmm. Okay. During this revolt, hundreds of slave plantation workers, inspired by Haitian Revolution, took up on probably Marcus Garvey, took up arms and marched towards New Orleans. Remember we kept saying, people keep saying, how come some of these slaves didn't just come together and do something? Mm -hmm. Well, here's an example of when they did. During the revolt, hundreds of enslaved plantation workers inspired by Haitian revolutions took up arms and marched towards New Orleans, hoping to seize the city, free other slaves, and establish a free state. The uprising was quelled by the U.S. troops and local militia groups. Okay leaving nearly a hundred slaves dead. Scores more were captured and executed, while others were returned to their plantations to work. Remember they so were... quit, uh, these guys, if I was back in those days, they, uh, shut up. Now you can see, it wasn't just the US um, troops, it was militia groups. Yeah. Probably these white groups that joined mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. and said, don't worry, we got you. We got, we'll get them. And think about it, they were still considered property. So a lot of slave owners want their property back or they got paid for the property be gone, being gone and missing. And it says the Banner sisters never heard about this revolt in school. Of course not. They don't teach stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It was their grandmothers. That told the her, story. Their grandmother orally told them the story. Yeah. That taught them about the revolt and the enslaved people in, at that time. So you see how important it is to, you can park here. You see how important it is that you pass down these stories mm -hmm. from generation to it's generation? Nice if it is, yeah. It won't be taught in school. You gotta mm -hmm. verbally say it. And there's families who are not doing that. Some 213 years later, the Banner twins became the newest owners and first black owners of this plantation. It's the second plantation that they've bought. Hmm. So that's their that's they mission. Through the Descendants Project. The first being Many Waters Plantation in Wallace, Louisiana. So they're on a mission. They're on a mission. Buy back. They said that they, their objection is to purchase lands to preserve history. Yes. They call it defensive buying. But they're also fighting for freedom and protection of historic homelands of their enslaved ancestors. You can't do that when I leave. Mm -mm. <laughs> She's cutting her fingernails. Um, Which you should have done. In addition to preserving the culture and aiming to get more recognition for the culture, we also do our best to protect descendant communities. So they do communities too. Mm -hmm. So I think this is very um they buy back the property. I think this is very nice. Banner, the Banner, the Banner twins. twins. But yeah, that's history that and you get people on both sides with that whole historical thing. Mm -hmm. Cuz there are people I told you about the young lady at my job years years ago. She was a young girl. Had to have been like 19. Um as far as black history being told about slavery and all that. She didn't want to hear it. 
Mama don't like to hear she nothing don't about that. Hear, she don't want to hear about the abuse and, and our people and how we were treated and stuff. So some people don't want ugly history told told to them. Yeah. And then some people do. They want to know because they ought to help them move forward in, you know, different positive ways. I don't know how much batteries left like that. Let me see. Mm -hmm.